This is Kerry Porter from K-Sport Network. I'm actually back in East Orange today. And actually I'm here uh, covering the Garden State girls basketball programs between Bridgewater and East Orange All-Stars. Bridgewater is up 8-6 to six, and they're early in the fourth quarter right now. This is the fifth grade level. And this is also an introductory level where the kids are learning how to play basketball and cheer for that matter, where East Orange has a cheer program over here in the corner, as well as here in East um, along on the courts as well. Bridgewater is bringing up the ball, 7.06 left and leading with two points ahead. There's gonna be a lot of fouls, shot. And there's a steal. Going up for the layup. And it's a tie. The crowd goes wild for that. We have a foul. And it's up. So, oh, look like we got a loose ball. But it's yeah. on a fast break. And we got a breakaway. Oh. Good job, good job. These young girls are learning how to play basketball at, to be competitive. We're learning sportsmanship. As well as travel and play, uh, play and see different styles of play within their communities and around and around the state of New Jersey and outside the state of New Jersey for that matter. Some of these two young ladies play on the AAU level, which travel on a more national tournament-based schedule. As well as participating in other sports, like football with the boys, softball and track and field. Yet they truly have a spirit of the game here. Where it's tied up at 8 8. 538 left in the fourth quarter. And number 5 6 it in on the foul shot. She leaves the uh, Bridgewater with five points already. And we have a violation in the next turns over. Now Raritan is up by one, nine to eight. There we go in. East Orange goes up by one. East Orange takes it, and it takes it and picks the pocket. And we got a loose ball foul. Turnover.
We got Angie on the field, on the court. We're gonna have to have the substitution. We'll take a little short break. We'll update you a little bit more as we go along, okay? Be right back. And we're back. Four minutes left in the quarter, and in the game, East Star is still leading by one. 10 to nine, 417 left in the game. And they're taking out on the turnovers. The ball goes up, comes back down, and East Star still retaining possession. Which one takes it over? We're on. A, we're actually in the gymnasium of Sisley Tyson Performing Arts Middle and High School on the site of the former, which was built on the former East Orange High School campus. Constant rebounds, and they're fighting for it, and they get it. Number three scores it again. And we have a timeout. Three minutes and four, three minutes and eight seconds left in the game. He starts up by three, 12 to nine. Again, I repeat, this is the fifth grade level. Fourth and fifth graders, and sixth graders for that matter. We got cheerleaders over here for the East Stars All Stars. Part of the long history of All Star cheerleading and basketball. Let's hit it up for the cheerleaders here. Okay, we got away with one. He had a stolen ball, but was taken backwards to the other goal line. It was by accident. Again, this is fun, but you gotta also learn that they are still learning. She meant to bring it out and take it, pass it off, but she took it to the other side. <laughs> Bringing it in into play of a violation of a backcourt violation. Three minutes left in the game. 12 to nine. As Bridgewater makes their last pitch, tie the game up, or at least try to make it a more competitive. Number 42 scores it, scores it a bucket. Two points for her. Brings Bridgewater back into play. 12 to 11. 247 left in the game. 30 second timeout for East Orange. We'll step away for a hot second. And we're back. He starts his ball out.
Coach Greg Johnson. Five at the line. Shooting for two. Got the rebound and a clutch play. Number five. And that was a traveling call against East Orange. And we have a timeout again. Be right back. And we're back. It's a scrum on the floor, and then we got possession going to possession now stays with Bridgewater. 13 12, Bridgewater up by one. Just under two minutes left, about a minute and 45 seconds left in the game. Minute 44, I should say. Possession jump ball. Possession now we're going back to East Orange this way. 136 left in the, on the fourth quarter. 136 left in the game. Wow, nice little step in for the steal. East Orange is in bonus, so it's a one in one situation. I see two shots. She makes one out of two. Brings up the uh, score to 14 to 12. There's a battle inside. Traveling. It's a battle for the boards. Call for traveling. East Orange is down by two, 14 12. Minute 17 left in the game.
The ball. Minute 14 left. Possession is going to back to East Orange. East Orange is running back to a tie score as they're battling it out for the last final minute. Who's going to win it and who wants it more? East Orange will be in Bridgewater in about two weeks, from what I'm told. For the second. Fourteen, fourteen, thirty-seven point five seconds left in the game. Who wants it more? We shall see. <laughs> 